Hi, my name is Maureen, and my two words are uncertain and unshaken. I grew up going to church um, and learning a lot about Jesus and uh, praying with my family before I went to sleep and talking about Jesus sometimes at dinner and um, always knowing who Jesus was but not really knowing what role he played in my life or if he even played a role in my life or was involved um, with me at all. And when I was a senior in high school, my sister started talking to me a lot more about spiritual things and what I believe. Um, as my older sister, she started coming to me every night and just sitting in my room and asking me um, what I believe. And I remember um, I would tell her what I believe about Jesus, like, I have to work to be good enough to get into heaven. And she would show me these verses that says, like, it, it's by grace that we are saved. And it's not by our efforts, but what Christ has done for us. And I remember just say, thinking, like, this is not what I've heard before and just being um, really unsure as to what I should believe. Um, and it was just really challenging what I already um, believed. And one night she came into my room and we were talking and she shared with me a verse that said, um, but God demonstrates his own love and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And she asked me why I thought Christ had to die. And up to this point, I could kind of gather from context clues and verses kind of what answers were um, to answer her question and to address what it said in the Bible. But this was the first time where I really had no answer. I was uncertain as to whether um, Jesus really could play a part in my, in my life and whether he um, really did love me enough to die for me. And even um, I was uncertain that he could save me and that it wasn't what I would do. Um, to please him. So it was that night that I trusted in Jesus for my salvation. Um, and that's when I went from being uncertain to unshaken. So now, um, over the last four years of living for Jesus, I've learned um, how this faith that's rooted in Jesus and his work on the cross is unshaken. My two words are uncertain and unshaken. Thanks for listening.